Get out of the comfort zone. Get out of the of that comfort zone. Don't be comforted by the things of the world. Don't be comforted or else it will be too late for you. It was too late for Samson in Genesis 16. He was comforted by Delilah, but his eyes were plucked out. Because Delilah was the deceiver. He was the devil. Who can be the Delilah these days? These days the Delilah can be the, the things of the world. It can be Satan himself. Because Satan is the deceiver. And Delilah acted as a deceiver at that time. Get out of that comfort zone before it is too late. They will pluck out your eyes before you before you before you put sense into your mind. Before you put sense into your brain. Get out of that comfort zone. You may be a Moses. Moses, you are in Egypt. You are in the house of Pharaoh. You are eating while your brothers are enslaved. While your brothers and sisters are they are slaves, they are suffering. Get out of that comfort zone before God forces you to get out of the comfort zone where, where the people of Egypt, they start oppressing you. They want to kill you because you killed the person. You killed the soldier of Egypt. Then you will run away. You will go to the media so that you may meet God and go and save your people. Get out of that comfort zone. Get out of that comfort zone. Who can be your people to save? It can be your own life. It can be the other soul. It can be the other people, the other souls who are lost because they are our brothers and sisters, the brothers and sisters in the Lord. You have to save them. If you go, if you go back to the Lord empty-handed, He will tell you, you wicked servant, like He told those three servants, those three servants in one of the books of the of the Gospels. One was given five, one was given three, one was given three, one was given uh, uh, one one coin, and they were told to multiply. The last one who, told, who was given one coin, he didn't multiply, and he was called a wicked servant. He was chased out, kicked out. Get out of that comfort zone. You may be like Joseph. Joseph, you are a dreamer, yes. You dream, God shows, God shows you visions. Yes, you see the visions of God, but you have to stand up and start walking your way through your destiny so that you may make it in life. Or, they, or, your, or your brothers uh, who have to sell you for you to have sense in your play. They have to they will have to sell you to, to Potiphar's house uh, so that you may be enslaved. Uh. In that Potiphar's house, uh, the wife who want to sleep with you, you will be sold, uh, you will be you will be cast uh, into jail for you to be the governor. Wake up, wake up, get out of the comfort zone. That comfort zone, Satan is comforting you, but you'll be you you the moment you realize that uh, I'm in the wrong place, uh, you, you, when you stand up, it will be too late. It was too late for Samson. It was too late. His eyes blacked out. You may be sitting on fire. You are thinking that uh, where I'm sitting is warm, but it's burning you. God bless you.